Cats. Hi everyone, welcome to Cats Creations Live on a Friday night where we're still ramping up for fall. So tonight is another fun design. I'm kind of trending into that dark chocolate color with just pops of oranges and greens and ivories. So we're gonna do the same thing, different um, deco mess, deco mesh. Uh, we're gonna be using a jute, jute burlap. We're kind of going more natural. Um, combining a bunch of natural colors and elements in this. So it kind of trends a little bit on rustic country. Um, I'm trying to think of, nah, still rustic country. So uh, we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show you how to wire up your frame. We're using a 14 inch Dollar Tree wreath frame. I thought about going on a work frame and going bigger and bolder, but in all honesty, I really wanted to use this chocolate Jeep mesh and I just couldn't find a base color mesh that I would feel comfortable with. So we're just gonna do this one, but a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker. So before we get started, if you're new here, let us know, we'd like to welcome you. Let us know where you're from um, because we can welcome you and even on YouTube. So the YouTube people that are catching this Facebook live replay on YouTube, comment because sometimes you comment on a YouTube video and then you you find your own um, people that you're connecting with along the way as well. So sometimes I'll even see full-blown conversations happening in YouTube or even in Facebook as you guys are meeting and connecting and you're like, oh my God, I'm from that, that town too. So let us know. Uh, welcome. First of all, if this is your first time joining us. What else? Um, if you like this design and want to replicate it, once you get all of your supplies, just click the share button down below. It'll share it to your page. So much easier to find than um, trying to locate it after about a week or so of everything that I post during the week. Um, YouTube subscribers, all you have to do is click the bell in the corner to subscribe to this channel. Then you're notified any single time that we launch or drop a new video down for you to enjoy. Um, if you want to be notified when we go live, make sure you click the like and follow button. And then while you're in the live, like right now, you can just tap the, the screen, whatever you're using on your device, the upper right hand corner, three dots, click those three dots. It'll open up a sub menu that allow you to turn your live notifications on or off. And I think that's it. Public group, feel free to like and share. Yeah, we already said that. Yeah. Um, let me make sure, because you were nice enough to grab this and pull this up for me. Um, so 14 inch Dollar Tree frame, uh, six sections. I've done the first five, so we're gonna wire the last section. They're always the same um, for most of the designs that I do on the Dollar Tree frame. You're gonna take one pipe cleaner, you're gonna use your weld marks as a guide and you're gonna to wire together the two inner rows, like so. And this will give you six, one on each section, on the inside only. And then you're gonna do the same to the outside too, using your weld and this as a guide. You're gonna kinda of come in here and wire together these and then wire together the opposite side. Now the deco mesh that I'm using tonight, I cut to 30 inch pieces, why? Um, I wanted thicker. So sometimes when you do the cruffle technique, there's a lot of gaps that happen. And so I really wanted to make sure that there was enough mesh on the bottom, which is why I was leaning towards, should we do a poof and then throw a um, different curl bases on top, but I thought, let's try this and let's go bigger. So we're using 30 inch um, pieces. So it's 10 inch mesh cut to 30 inch pieces. So when you're doing a cruffle, it's gonna be a really long cruffle, um, you just fold your ends over. So start at about an inch and then count one, two, three, four, five, chip clip, a uh, clothespin, binder clip, anything that you can use that kind of holds your curl in place to get the other side going. So one, two, three, four, five, 
and then we're gonna ruffle or just pull the other curl towards you and that gives you kind of like a combination ruffle and curl. Now I'm starting on the inside. Um, we'll see. I'm not gonna cut out the interior six just yet. We'll see how the design goes because this is a thinner, it's more of a vertical, it's a, what is it? Six and a half yeah, by, 12. by 12. Yeah, it's a six and a half by 12. Um, craft outlet for the welcome autumn. welcome autumn. I wasn't sure if it said autumn welcome or welcome autumn. Four, five, clip, clip it. So I've had this color for a while, waiting for fall. And so I'm super excited to use this color. So I'm hoping. Yeah, I was just jumping on. That with more. Happy Friday. We'll have better coverage. Just like that. Okay. Click. Go. There we go. Let's see comments. Mm -hmm. Swiping one way or the other. Hi, Lisa from New York. Hi, Peggy. Hi Sharon. Um, Hi Audrey. So are you? Hi, I'm not even seeing those. Excuse me, they're further up. Oh, they're further up. Okay, so stars at the bottom. So you see the little icon with the star? What those are is it allows you to uh, tip. So those are basically a cent per star. So if you set 50 stars, it's like 50 cents. So, um, if you've never seen the icon or wonder what people are doing where it says so-and-so sent 50 stars and you're like, what stars? Um, starting, Kat should have done this before live, we're actually going to be doing some fun fundraising through the rest of the year. And um, the first one I'm going to be doing is when you do the stars for the entire month of August, even though we're kind of a week in, um, we're going to be taking all that money and utilizing it for um, books in a classroom. So I'm a huge book lover, been a huge book lover for a very long time. And so some teachers are getting together, two, three, four, I'm gonna do one more, six. And what they do is some kids have no problem buying books at the book fair. Remember book fair days where you would get the little, what is it, like a four page newsprint thing with like books you can order. And um, some kids have no problem, you know, purchasing books, but other kids do. And so what, what we wanted to do was help those kids to be a part of the whole group and not have to struggle with um, funding books, because I truly believe books give you an outlet um, on the creative, imaginative side. So we're going to be using those funds to purchase books for our classroom. So we're going to do whole classrooms at a time so everybody has all the books. So Sharon, thank you for sending 50 stars. Thank you, Sharon. Sharon's usually always awesome and usually sends them every week. So that's amazing. Thank you, Sharon. Yes. Um, Roxanne and me uh, may I ask how many ties and how long the mesh was cut. 18 ties total. Yes, 18 12, total. 12 on the outside, 6 on the inside, and the mesh is cut to 30 inches. Yes. So as you can see, this is already creating the look I want, which is a lot of a, I want a thicker base. So I don't want those little peak holes that we sometimes see when we do the cruffle method. So I wanted thicker sections, and this is giving me the look that I want. I still have areas where I can kind of peek in and see, but I think once we add the rest of the materials to this design, um, I think it's gonna turn out good. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm cheating. I'm doing six instead of five. Just because I want to see that the chocolate brown color a little bit more and the curls. So I want them to be a little thicker. Um, this deco mesh, by the way, uh, Kringle Designs is where I purchased it from. So it's Kringle Designs with a K, just like Chris Kringle, uh, dot US. They have their own website. So all of their supplies are 50% off, 
if you make sure you before you check out you use coupon code 5050 so they have really good supplies and sometimes I get like I'll look at the supplies and I'll be like wow eleven dollars for a roll of mesh and then I'm like silly me it's half price so it's only 550 so that's a better deal two three four five let's pull this one Then we will grab this. So I wanted something a little bit more rustic, more natural, using more natural um, colors, more natural fabrics. And um, we're gonna put some fall leaves in here, obviously pumpkins to go with our pumpkin sign. Some pine cones, some acorns. We could have some ivory pit berries that are going to go in. So a whole bunch of natural. Go ahead and remove this. Sometimes you just get those ones on the end that just hang. So you usually just pull them off. Okay. There we go. What questions do you guys have that I can answer for you while I am finishing our base up? This particular jute mesh has to be cut with a rotary cutter because it contains the jute fibers, which won't cut with a wood burning tool. It'll just smoke. One, two. You will take, it will take two, almost two rolls to complete this design, cutting them to 30 inch. But yeah. Oh, a lot of comments just kind of came in. Have you seen the square wreath from the Dollar Tree? Yes, you have. Yes, and you know what? And I know people are like, can we do a design with that? So I'm gonna try to do that for Sunday's live. So it'll be Sunday at six Pacific, uh, eight Central, and then nine Eastern time. So I'll try to do square. And then the 10 inch uh, jute mesh is from Kringle Design. Yep. And Lisa, yeah, she did a video on the turkey wreath behind her on the door in her private group. And then Edna asked, how do I sign up for the group? I'll pin, uh, You'll the, pin the website. That. So yeah, the if you just go to the catscreationsandmore.com website you can sign up for the private group right now we're doing eight tutorials a month a month so on sundays and mondays is when we're doing those um even if you sign up today you can still get the turkey tutorial that we did last weekend four five and all of the tutorials i've done since 2018 so it's a really good value Three, four, five. I still need to count um, how many tutorials I have in there. I want to say there's more than 200, but um, I want to say there's more than that. I just don't know how many more. And the wreath size is the Dollar Tree 14 inch wreath form. Yes. And I haven't cut the inside ones out yet because we might use them depending how the sign sits. It may hold some pumpkins or some fall leaves. One, two. Um, also, for people who are private or thinking about doing the private group, two, three, four, five, six, um, you get discounts. So you get a better discount than the one I just mentioned at Kringles uh, using our code at Kringle Designs. So. That's a benefit. When you think about it, it's like less than $2.25 a tutorial. So it's crazy. Okay, couple more. There we go. One, two, three. I keep seeing your comments pinned. So that's what I see popping up. It just takes a while. Two, three. 
this is, I can totally tell this is probably the piece from the inside. Yeah. I have to look through my mesh supplies to see if I have any more of the other brown, like that high metallic brown we did. Mm -hmm. So I think with you cutting it 30 inches, you're going to need like a roll and a quarter, right? No, roll you need like a roll and a half. Roll and a half. Yeah. So here's the downside. When I opened up the first roll, I had a splice like three quarters of the way through the roll. So I had a six inch piece in the middle that I couldn't do anything with. And I was like, can I like put that inside somewhere? But no, because I don't know, it would have looked weird. But I hate when that happens, especially on mesh, especially that far into the roll. I wouldn't mind if it was towards the end, because then we can make that work. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you, Stella. She said the private group is phenomenal. I've thank learned you. so much from Kat since I joined. Thank you, Kat. I learn from my members, because you guys share your designs, and I mean, it's so nice to have people literally all over the world um, helping you find things you're looking for. And then Amy said, I feel like I can't get my Chanel stems tight enough. I'm afraid something's gonna fall out. Um, as long as you go to two rails, like Kat shows you, then nothing's gonna fall out. Yeah, and I mean, I don't, I don't tighten them too tight because you don't want to snap the rails, you know, trying to pull too tight there, but you can get them on there pretty good. Uh, Lynetta asks Kat, what's the reason that you don't, you don't put any in the middle? I think you mean you cut the Chanel stems off in the middle. Yeah, the normally I cut the ones off in the middle, so it would all depend on how wide my sign is, what I plan on putting inside the sign, am I putting a bow in there? Yeah. So this time I'm just not cutting the six off on the inside yet. Just so I have options. Because I've never done a door tag sign. Who I need my staple gun. What about that? You need staple gun? Yeah. Because I was like mentally like, okay, and after this I'm gonna be, oh, we need the staple gun. The staple gun I didn't bring out. I was spending too much time looking through florals trying to find more natural florals. So I'm really loving how the 30 inch mesh, thank you, turned out on this base. One, two, three, four, five. So sometimes the question I get from new wreath makers is how do you get your curls to stay tightly curled like the ends? Um, the biggest reason that your curls often collapse or come undone is the quality of deca mesh. So if you're grabbing something from like Michaels or Joann's, that's what we would be considered like a basic mesh. Um, they don't hold up as well as a quality mesh would. So that's the big reason. And then here, I'm really keeping the beginning tight and making sure I have quite a few rolls on there. Um, with this Jeep mesh, on the ends it's got little, little ends that kind of reach out and catch. Karen said, hello Kat, really interested in watching you do this wreath. <clears throat> I've been sick with possible surgery soon. I have a block artery in the neck. Thank Ugh. you for letting me see you do your wreaths. Oh, well, thank you. We're praying for you, Karen. Karen. Uh, uh, Karen Maylet. Okay. Just so I can add you to our prayer list. Yeah. Make sure that your surgery goes well without any, it's what I call textbook surgery. So look at how gorgeous and how thick and how full this base is. So all 18 pieces cut to 30 inches gives it a really super thick, full um, look that I'm going for. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do our two and a half inch ribbon to the outside first. And so we're gonna use a two and a half inch uh, Swiss dot. 
And then we're also gonna come in with this tan, more of a natural color with white pumpkin. These are all cut to 14 inch pieces. Um, where'd the ribbon come from, Steve? Uh, the two and a half inch uh, white Deja the Pumpkin is RG, so it looks like it is Craft Outlet. Craft outlet. Yeah, if I didn't put anything, I that just means Craft Outlet. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. And then Deborah, there's 18 ties or stems. Total. Total. 12 on the outside and 6 on the inside. So I'm just taking these and alternating these just to the outside for now. And then just kind of pulling the tails to the bottom just to cause the eye to go outward. This makes it feel bigger. Um, this wreath is right now, it's sitting right at 24 inches. Probably by the time we add it in all of our embellishments, it'll probably go to 25 or 25 and a half on the diameter. And it's definitely going to be at least six on the inside. Like, but just to be able to fit in a 24 by 24 by oh, 24. Yeah. yeah. I just try to give dimensions. And then when we're finished, we'll put it on the door. So this is an average uh, exterior door. So this is a 36 inch wide door. Bobby, we're very far away from any of the fires. It's way up in Northern California. I know, I saw that we're today. We're down in Southern California. I actually screenshotted the air quality. They said the air quality up around Tahoe mm -hmm. is like, it was like negative 345. It's like the worst yeah. I've ever seen. It says it's hazardous for all health groups. And I was like, wow, even in Tahoe, you know, just the smoke from the fires. Is so toxic it's not good for people to be outside so yeah we are people in california need rain badly uh lisa she'll show you as she goes she asked do you put a ribbon in every one or do you just get it um, depends on the design and what you want to do on the outside i'm putting them in every yeah. pipe cleaner space and just alternating the green from the tan with the pumpkin and I'm not opening the pipe cleaners, I'm just adding them right to the top. So just like as I'm spinning them around, is exact, like I just go to the next one. Thank you, Bobby. Oh, she said she's in SoCal too. Just want to make sure you're okay. Yeah. Where, what parts of Southern California are you in? We're up in the high desert up here in um, Victorville on the way to Las Vegas. Oh, well, Lisa said the smoke has even reached New York. Really? Yeah, know. even Canada. So, yep. In other news. Uh, June says we've had hazardous air quality warnings all the way in Iowa from mm -hmm. the wildfires. Yeah, I was thinking because um, Kate's all the way up in Idaho and Montana. So, um, they're saying smoke advisories up there too, just the <clears> way the winds are blowing. Well, I wonder how the wind is going to go with all that. I don't know. It's an outdoor wedding, so we'll see. Yep, and the two and a half inch uh, tails are cut to 14 inches. Yes. Oh, so just six of each color. Pam, uh, yeah, what's funny, she said Modesto is really in healthy air right now. Mm -hmm. Tell your daughter to stay inside if she can. <laughs> Our daughter is actually in Montana. Montana. So she's probably going to be affected. She's got a wedding to go to. Yeah, tomorrow. she's in a wedding in. Hamilton, Montana? Yeah. Something like that? Well, Bobby said, Bobby Carlson, we had an effect on our air quality in New Jersey. It's crazy. Oh, geez. Yeah. Hard to believe where, you know, the air travels. Hey, Laura. She said, I hope you're both doing well. Interesting and sad about Tahoe and the other areas. Yeah, it is. Very sad. We really, like I said, we really need the rain to help put these fires out. Because this one's just been the Dixie fire. It's just been going for way too long. Yeah. Okay, last one. Once I grab the green one, it'll be the last one going around the outside. <laughs> what? For whatever reason, Bella just is sitting there watch, watching you. Hi, Bells. <laughs> and you can see her in the camera a little bit. 
Oh, oh I see Katie her. wants to be a part of the video tonight. Hi. Yeah. She's like, um, why are the windows closed? Because yeah. when we open up the slider, the bird bath's right there so they can watch all the birds come in. With the heat that we've had, we um, ordered more fountains for the birds so that they can stay nice and cool. Okay. Patty, uh, she asked, how did you do the brown? I'm assuming you're talking about the deco mesh. It's a crumple design. Mm, 30 inch That's pieces. 30 inch pieces, yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna come in and we're gonna add, and that's pretty. It's a brown, tan, and moss green. We're gonna be adding this to, um, how did I, I'm like trying to think of how did I have this originally. I'm gonna be adding this to the pumpkin and then this brown and green stripe, um, we're gonna be adding this to the Swiss dot. So these are cut to 18 inch pieces. This is just very thin um, tinsel. So there's wire in there, but it's very thin, which is why it's like not as stiff as these ones. Um, the brown with the green stripe is from Hobby Lobby this year in their Christmas section. So it's actually a Christmas ribbon. I don't know why I just did that. Um, cut to 18 inch pieces, we're gonna do what's called a half bow. So you're gonna bring your wired edges together. You're gonna to go about two inches from the top, kind of pinch that in so you have a little, nice little two inch loop. We're gonna lay that in right on top of our pumpkin ribbon. And I'm actually gonna be cutting these off. It's like an awareness ribbon. Yeah, exactly. So now that I've got it in, I can show you what I'm doing. So, um, I'm gonna take my pipe cleaner, move this all the way to the back, because no one wants to see that. You're gonna open the loop. You have to write one side. And with this being a, they, I think they glue the different color ribbons together, so you have to be very careful when you're pulling it, because if you pull it this way, you're gonna actually pull the sections of ribbon apart. So just be careful when you go to um, fluff that. So that gives you kind of like a 3D awareness bow. Hi girls, just join in. So we'll go ahead and do this on our greens. Same way, all the exact same, all the way around. Cut and go. Now she's just wandering in the kitchen. I don't you know why. Probably wants us to open the curtains. Just like I hear the birds out there, I just can't see them. Mom bells. <laughs> yep. Let's go here. I think we have all the curtains closed right now. The heat is, oh, it has just been one of the hottest summers, I think, that I've ever remembered here in the desert. And it's just horrible. This is what we call our summer hibernation. It's too hot to go outside, so we actually just stay inside. Which is probably good with the air quality being the way that it is. Yeah. Right? Welcome, Becky. She's a first time viewer from West Virginia. Welcome. Okay. This is where you wish you can just go snap your fingers and boom, it's all in. Three, four. Marna said, I just got my turkey today from Craft That Lip. Good. So you'll be making your turkey. Everyone's making the turkey. Yeah. He's super fun to make. Kind of big. Just trying to get the brown to lay where I want it to lay. And then after this, we'll work on our bow. We'll add our sign. And then we'll embellish um, around the areas where we want to pull in some more of the natural looks with our um, pumpkins. Let's 
see how that goes. Just have to be so careful with that ribbon as you're flipping it. So weird how you can see. I just get a whole bunch of people watching, watching, watching. Yeah, I get that too. Just yeah. Comments will come in from time to time. Mm -hmm. There's still some times where I have to go out and come back in. Gotcha. One, two, three. So I'm trying to cut as I go so I don't have to come back. When you're just starting off, my suggestion is always don't cut any of your pipe cleaners off until you're done. Done. Um, this way, if you don't like maybe some of the ribbon colors you have, maybe you don't like the way that it's laying and you want to change it out, if you've already cut it, it's not a horrible thing. You just have to go back and re-add a pipe cleaner to that section and then just redo that one. But when I was starting out, just leaving everything in until I was done, um, because you never know, sometimes your pipe cleaners could be used to help hold an embellishment in. You might thread it rather than glue it. Michelle said, I tried to make my own head. I got, I'm assuming, turkey head. Okay. It looked crazy, so I just made a flower. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I think you can probably do it out of felt. Uh, I think that'd be really tough. Just like the little head? Yeah. You'd have to really have a good pattern or something to do it. I'm sure you could YouTube that. You yeah. can YouTube anything anymore. Before YouTube, what did we do? We lived. <laughs> we used our imagination. I like this because it's not so necessarily, um, well, I guess it's autumn themed, but it's not like stuck, like you couldn't put this on your door now. Um, this would actually fit on your door good now seasonally wise and get you all the way through till Christmas. I've got to start popping some Christmas designs too for this year and we're going to incorporate those a little bit next week. You'll start seeing Christmas pop in. And then we'll just be like adding fall, working on Christmas. Okay. Irene, the sign came from Craft Outlet. Craft Outlet. I don't know if they're still available at Craft Outlet, but that's where it came from. I want to ask, what are your cat's names? <laughs> we have four. We had five. Um, Mickey. Um, Giles. Bella was the one that made a brief appearance here. And then Boba is our black one, which is usually who everybody sees. Because he's not shy. And Giles is right, right on the other side of the counter, laying on the floor asleep. Poor cats don't even know what the outside weather feels like. Mm -hmm. They should be grateful. I don't even know what the temperature is right now. 100, 130. Last two. So this is the last one of the striped. And then we have our brown. It actually says 93. Really? Yeah. It can't be. Hmm. Hi, Boba. Please don't come up here. Um, well, usually if you don't acknowledge them and ignore them, they won't come. I didn't say hi, Boba. I know, that's what I said. I made the mistake of doing that. He just kind of looked at a few on the other. Yeah. Yep, we have four. We really only had three, but then we took on the care of an outside cat that became injured. She just wouldn't leave us alone. <laughs> well, once you feed them, they become yours. Yeah. 
But we think that a homeowner who recently moved out may have left him behind, which is sad. Um, but, but then he like got injured. Four years ago. <laughs> it's been a lot longer than that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's do the bow. So I'm going to take this and set this here. I'm going to grab my bow dabra. Grab all my ribbon. There's that. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, she said, I used to have five, two. Jezebel, Winky, Alexander, Chloe, and Katrina. They all lasted around 17 years. Wow. Yeah, I think our oldest is 13. That's Bella. She's our only female. So I'm actually going to put my green down first. Let me scoop that over. So the first thing we need to do is dovetail our ends, which just means bring the wire edges together. You're going to take your scissors and depending upon how far up on the fold to the point on your wire is how deep your V will be. And then you have a really pretty dovetail perfect cut. And this one's going to be a 10 inch tail. So I'm just going to pinch this right at the 10 inch mark and twist it, place it inside the bodabra. So it was right side fabric facing, now it's wrong side until we bring it up and over to make our loop. And this should be at six and a half inches, not six, five and a half inches. So that one's a little big. Do the same on the other side. Always measure. That one's not quite. There we go. Well, I think the turkey was from Craft Island. Um, yeah, I believe so. I think so. Mm -hmm. That's a cute story. My last cat, Taco, <laughs> was with me for 16 years. Love the name. <laughs> okay, there's that one. So this, um, whatchamacallit, the Swiss dot came from Craft Outlet. The pumpkin on the tan was the same. It's Craft Outlet. So this one is going to be a nine and a half inch tail. It makes me hungry all the time. Why? I'm my cat's name is just taco. Taco. Yes, because you would you can't say it's like Taco Tuesday. It had to be it's Taco every day. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, loading this in. The loop size on this will be five inches, <coughs> which should be a little challenging to do because on this particular ribbon, the um, pumpkins are painted on. So it's hard to twist on the painted part. Now, but there's no paint there. Super easy. There we go. It's just hard to fold it. Or maybe it's an iron-on transfer. Sometimes it looks ironed on. <clears throat> well, thanks for letting us know. I said the Welcome Autumn sign is out of stock. Oh, okay. They did say arriving within 30 days. Well, that's a good thing. Instead of not. Yeah. Um, let's see. How am I going to break these up? I think I'm going to do it like this. So I'm going to lay in the chocolate ribbon first, since we know it has a really weak um, strength. So I'm gonna have it sandwiched mm. between the two and a half inch ribbon, which should help give it some weight. I don't like that cut on the bottom. Oops, just moved. It does look like the reshop carries it. So you can go to the reshop. So this is nine inches. And we're going to go four and a half inch on the loop size. This is what I'm going to have to hold just because the, the wire isn't thick enough to like 
supported so I can easily pull it through. Let's just double check size. Open up my lids and further so the reach is out too. Just have to give it some time or try to find it somewhere else. There we go. Well, 30 days will put you into September. Well, it's still enough time, kind of, for fall. <clears throat> so this one's done. And now we're going with the, what did I say we're doing next? I think I said beige. So this is from Costco from a couple years ago. So this is still when Costco had really good ribbon, really thick ribbon. So it's kind of like it's trimmed in brown, but it's kind of a brown burlap. And this is eight and a half inches. So again, more than natural fibers. And since these two are both gonna be the same, you just put your finger through both and give them a pull. I know this one's way too big, but there we go. Back to the center. Right at eight and a half. So have any of you shopped at Costco or Sam's? From what I've heard, their Christmas ribbon is being placed out. And once it's gone, it's gone. They're not gonna be able to get any more restocks in by the holidays. So if you like their ribbon rolls, which are usually 50 yard rolls for about $7.99. We'll go ahead and put this one next. The moss and tan gingham. This will be eight inch tail with a four inch loop. Just like so. Okay, pull this one down. Up. Now we need to make sure this measures four inches. Right there. Lisa said the same ribbon looks like last year's selection. I'm seeing quite a few new designs. Um, there's some snowflake ribbon that was new that someone had shared. I was like, hadn't seen that one before. And they have some new Christmas tree ribbon. It's like on a red. Mm -hmm. yes, I haven't seen the ribbon yet in Costco. Oh, she said it goes to the Costco in Manteca. Oh, okay. Right there by Caitlin. Yeah, I know. We we're just at there. Well, the one weekend we went to San Francisco. Yeah. That was a quick turnaround trip. Yeah. Too quick. Get to San Francisco, turn around, and come back. Okay, last one. Our striped ribbon. And this will be seven and a half inch tails with a three and a half inch loop. So here, three and a half, which I know is really small. Do the same. Just double check. Right here. This will be the last one. Glue gun is on. Plugged in. I like it. Doesn't matter if it's on if it's not plugged in. <clears throat> Okay, 
pipe cleaner. Which I know is under here. We're gonna go ahead and get our pipe cleaner prepped, which is just put it in a little U shape so that when you go through and push all this down and hold it between your thumbs, you're gonna just shift your view so that you just go right between your index finger and your thumb and just twist your stack. Okay. Let's grab our fluff cord. Just like so. So I'm just going, this is an 18 by 24 inch cutting board. It's a uh, three quarters inch thick. But if you go to Home Depot or Lowe's, if you don't have someone who can cut it and you don't want to spend the money on a cutting board, just go to Lowe's or Home Depot in their wood section pre-cut. You can find 24 by 24 by one inch thick. And then just pick up a inch and a half to two inch C hook or cup hook and screw it in. And then you're good. And I'm just hooking this on that little cup hook. Just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're separating from the bottom loops from tails mm -hmm. completely opposite before we fluff. So here's our loop, here's our tail. Other side, we want to pull our tail out and then our loop out to the other side. This way, loops and tails go crisscross from each other. And then we're going to do the opposite. So we're going to pull our tail and our loop and our tail and our loop and then this way they kind of you have you know they've mixed the color so I don't have two colors sitting next to each other and so we're just going to do that all the way down separating the ribbons I'm going to make sure if you ever forget just look at the one on top and go opposite that Michelle that's cute what? I know what she meant, but she said she she meant gonna stop by Carolina Pottery tomorrow. Oh. What typed out was gonna stop Carolina Potty tomorrow. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, he knew. Gotta love spell meant. check. Yeah, exactly. We're auto correct. There we go. Again, be careful with the one that's the triple, so you don't pull those apart as you're trying to separate. So now, once you've got everything separated tails from loops. This is where you can come in and really fluff up your ribbon, fluff up your tails, everywhere you want them. Patricia said, I'm a bow dabber gal too. How long are your pieces of mesh? 30 uh, inches? These are 30 inch pieces, yeah. So I'm just moving them where I want them to go. And then don't forget to fluff the bottoms so they're not laying static. Great gal so far. Give it lots of likes and loves. Swish it over that side. I like the dark colors of fall. Uh, so do I. That's why I said I don't know why after we did that one, the fall for Jesus one, in all the dark colors, I was like, I think I have another, another one like that. It's just different. Just like how you did the other two, uh, uh, what do you call it? Grapevine race and a really yeah. almost like a whitewash tail. Exactly. Tail. So I'm just moving things around where I want the look to be. Okay. And there is our bow. Got it. Right, Anita? She said, What's nice, Kat, is even though I'm watching you, you're going to tell the private group. The materials used and where you bought them, including the cut side of the ribbon. You just get to watch it. You don't even have to like really pay attention. You're like, eh, I'll get the list when she's done. Yeah, you can just sprint those out. And that's then a, take that list and go shopping. That's a great part of the private group. That was one of the things that I loved when I signed up in private groups was I loved the materials list because then I could just focus on technique. And then I was like, okay, then I just print that out and go shopping. Okay, so... Our door hanger, 
think, do I want to leave the door? I think I want to leave the little burlap door hanger on here. So let me go in and remove a couple of the interior ones where I know I'm going to put my door hanger at. Because once I put that on, I won't be able to go back in. So it's about three. She's just taking them all out. Why not it, just make sure you have a good bodabra and practice? Yeah, practice. Like people go, I wish I could make them like you. You can't just keep practicing. I don't know what it was. It's like one day it just clicked. And I was like, oh, that looks like a pretty good bow. Ribbon quality makes all the difference in how good your bows turn out. So if you have really thin wired ribbon, that's going to challenge you as a new bow maker because it's just not going to lay where you want it to. By the well, when, by the Wait. way, not by the well. By the uh, well. The sign for this is up on her catspiration.com, and that's the wreath she's making. Yeah. So it's up, ready for sale. It's listed. Yeah, it's listed. Not here. Go buy the sign. It would be a really expensive sign. <laughs> okay. Last one. Alrighty. I keep smashing all my loops that we work so hard to fluff. All right, let me take a look at this. How I want this to lay. So I'm trying to pull up some of my cruffles that are right here around the edge, just like these. I think that's where I want it, right here on the edge. So I want to pull some of these that would have been laying underneath. Oop, missed one pipe cleaner. It's right here. Usually I keep them out so I can count the pieces I've cut out. So that there. We'll make sure that the tag, the little burlap hangers kind of off to the side, but I like the fact that we leave it in there. And let me just look at how this will lay. I really want it. Ooh, I really like that. So I'm gonna kind of give you a sneak peek of how it'll kind of be. I already did a sneak peek. What do you mean? So when you leave it down like that, uh -huh. just lay it down. I'll show you in a second. Did you like tip over? Yeah, I tip it up like this. What a sneaky and person. And kind of get to see a little sneak peek of it. He's just way... Bring it back down. Yeah, he's way too funny. Okay, so I'm going to take this off and I'm going to go ahead and attach our pipe cleaners to the other side. Let's go ahead and take this one off. Take all of our stickers off. There we go. Then, well, at least I love the colors. Yeah, they're pretty colors. Yeah, it's just a different. I mean, I'll come back in and start doing some traditional fall colors, but I just really wanted. I found the sign. So the whole inspiration for this whole design started with the door tag. And then I was like, ooh, I think I have some brown mesh, like country brown, that we could do. So, sure enough. Yes, I did. So, let's go ahead and loop them so they don't pull out. And then we'll go ahead and add this. So, want to make sure this is up. down because with that burlap it can get stuck on the smallest little piece of uh, jute and then just make it almost an impossibility to pull down go up. 
and then most of these actually are lining up right over the interior six like the one up there and the one down so here are lining up right over the six two of the six i pulled out If you want to take that off and put it on your door or use it someplace else, it is an option you have. So I am putting this right. Okay, yep, she made that turkey in the private group just last uh, Sunday, right? Monday? Tuesday or Monday? Sunday or Monday? <laughs> I'm like, I don't remember. I'm like, because uh, we uh, started. You did it Monday because Sunday you did the two fall grape by race. That's true. Monday. So you did it Monday. That's true. I did it Monday. Yeah. So yes, it's. Myrna, yeah, Kat does actually have the stapler listed, I believe, in her her affiliate links, right? And I just listed that in the private group. The so private group. before this, so go past this tutorial. And then you'll see, I, I put, hey, if you ever wanted to know where I bought signs or my lights or my camera or bow maker, I'm like, someone had asked, can you post your Amazon shop? So I said, yes. So it has all the links for the stapler, um, my metal hole punch, all of that. Okay, so the turkey is adorable. Yes, it is. Yeah, he's cute. I'm just, we're looking, um, I'd like to see him. I mean, he's cute with his own little welcome sign, but I was telling the group members, I'm like, if you were good with a cricket, you could just make him say like, um, eat ham <laughs> for like the Thanksgiving turkey one. Like he's protesting the whole don't eat turkey thing. Yeah. So. Laura, friend Laura, so when you do the plush additions to Reef, where do you get those from? Uh, they are from Craft Outlet, so you can, they're like wreath kits, so um, that's where the turkey came from. You should come up and I can show you and Kara how to make wreaths, and yeah. you can make wreaths. We do a project together. I know, there's a couple people up here that want to do <clears throat> a class here, so I was like, hmm, we Lord will... <laughs> Have to eat more beef. Eat more, well, yeah, but it's Thanksgiving, so I'm like, people are like, do you do turkey or ham for um, Thanksgiving? So we're trying to give them options. And Deb's like, Kat, did you get a new camera and their lights recently? It looks bright and super clear. Um, we've had them for a while. Well, we've had this Christmas, though, right? This new camera for a while, yeah. I think you got it for me for Christmas. Yeah. Just because we had so many people say, oh, we can't see on your camera. Um, well, the camera was starting to go out. We were starting to have problems with it. Yeah, and it was out of warranty, and the Amiibo wouldn't fix it. And I was like, really? Spending this much money on a camera? And just because it goes out of warranty in a year, you're not going to service it? Yeah. It's kind of like video games now, where you have to buy like the next version. So... Um, so there is our wreath, but now we need to embellish it. Hi, Julie. Uh, Laura said yes. Let's set a date. She said Kara misses you. <laughs> I know. See if you guys come up here. She can make something. You can make something. We could go to dinner. Yeah, Julie said she also received her turkey attachment. Yay! So you guys are all going to be making them. So I am... Just unsticking some curls. They're kind of causing my ribbon to move in a way I didn't want it to lay. So right now it's just, it gets caught. Once it's there, it's great because it'll hold it in place. I Irene, don't... I don't know if I should answer this. <laughs> Why? She's all, is the turkey on the UITC or the Dollar Tree frame? 
It's only unique in the Creek Board. I was going to say, you have to be in the tribe group to see it. <laughs> well, I, it's unique in the Creek. You already posted the, That's true, the picture. She yeah. has it on her, her page. So I was like, okay. Um, so let's embellish this with some pumpkins. So these pumpkins came off the picks that we used on the Scarecrow Girl and Boy. And remember, they were way too big for that design. And I'm like, oh, we'll save them for a different design. So we're going to see if they work in here. They almost might seem to be too big for this design too, Steve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let us see. Um, I kind of wanted one down in here, or right in here. Uh, really, yeah, she had she has done candy cane uh, forms. She said, I was going through some of the files earlier today. I found the cross sweep that you did. Have you done any candy canes? Yeah, she's done a mm -hmm. bunch. There's a whole bunch. Yeah, you know what's so funny is when people join the private group, they don't go back and look at all the videos that are in there from like, I mean, you could scroll down through the list and just look based on time period and pull up things for like fall and table arrangements and fireplace garland we've already done. So it's almost pointless to re redo that again. When we've already done it. Um, Charlotte said, I love the two behind you. Is, a, is there a tutorial for it? It's in her private group. It's in the private group. And yeah. if you want to join, it's 17 a month. And I pinned the link to join down below. And then you can just click on the, the private group and just watch it. And watch hundreds of other videos she has in the private group. So I'm looking to see. I kind of don't like those two so close. And this one is just massive. This one's like way too big. Um, on the right hand side of the shelf that holds all the deco mesh on the very top is small little pumpkins that are, I think, this color. So I'm thinking I'm going to move this one back up here, which I love. Leave that one there. This one is just, it just seems too big. If it was this size, yes but it just is way too big because it's pushing my ribbon out, out of where it needs to lay. Unless I pull this around, it's still too big. Shrink it. I wish, shrink it. Let's make it smaller. Okay, while he's doing that, I'm gonna look for some dark, I pulled out some dark fall leaves that I've had um, let's see, this one's just way too big. Yeah. Let me look. This one's the right size. I know where there's a smaller white one. Mm-hmm. Right. If you go, I always have, I visualize it. Um, the fall, the tubs on the bottom. Mm-hmm. If you open one of them, it has small white pumpkins in it. So I'm just looking. These are pretty though. Okay, this one's not going to go. These are a little too orange for me, and that's a little too green, kind of patina type. So I'm gonna still keep cutting my leaves. So these are all done. So this is just picks from Hobby Lobby in like a darker fall color palette. So we'll add these to the outside. I'll just take all these down. These I'm going to come back with. I really want to get the pumpkins in though. Okay, while he's doing that, I'm just going <clears> to <throat> come in and add some fall colored leaves. The sides of some of my, and I'll show you. So I'm gonna spin this around. Did you find them, Steve? I feel so bad. Really, I do. There you go. So I'm not sure. I mean, that one kind of works, and then there's these ones. Let me. like that. I'll take this one out. Okay. 
you're still spinning. I was like, wait, I'm still just like, this is like, but I guess I kind of get in my own head and I'm like, I just stopped talking because I was like, hmm, what about this? Hmm, what about that? So let me spin this around so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just adding some mm -hmm. fall leaves to the outside. What do you say? So what do you think? Should we go with, I like the speckled ones. This is a small white one, or we can do this white one in there. I don't have green. I may have orange, but it would be like, have to go off camera and do that one. So I'm just going around and adding different color leaves. That one's really pretty. I think I want this one down towards the bottom a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe not quite that big. Love that. So I always just place things and if I like it, then I pull it back and then I'll come in with a hot glue and just kind of tag them where I want them to stay. And I'm not working around the areas where I'm going to add the pumpkins just yet like adding my leaves. This is so pretty, but it's a little too bright. Says, like the white ones um, in the wreath now. Okay. Um, So we're adding maple. These are maple. Yeah, I don't have any oak leaves. Thought maybe I did. So what are you getting? Uh, Kay is the only one who really said she likes the white ones. The white? Yeah. Thank you, Gloria. She said, oh, I can't see. She thought I caught you. I saw there was a comment. Sharon said, I like, I like it with the leaves added in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're putting, we're definitely adding just a wide variety of different leaves. There's an extra little pop of orange. Or brown. Yeah. I'm going to add these ones to the inside of my bow. Um, there's that one. I just feel these little wisps. Um, let me look. Let me look. Hmm. What if I just do those? Oh, she's changing it up. No, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just changing. A few things. I can tuck that one up. So you can look at this one now. I kind of like that one where you just put the stem because it kind of doesn't stick out. Where? Like that? Yeah. But look at the color placement. Like, does it look weird? No, it looks good. What do you think? I don't know. I haven't committed to this one yet. I haven't committed to either one. Usually I'm like, I can pop something in there and I'm like, okay, that works. So let me look. Just I love the burgundy leaves. Okay, so the white pumpkin on the wreath now matches better than the little white pumpkin. Yeah, it does. I agree. Because yeah. it's kind of speckled. Let me pull this out. Let me push these up. Sometimes you just need a different pick of some kind. I like that, but do I like that? Hold on. Or do I like this? 
over here. Sometimes it's just like looking at the placement. I think I like the pine cone pick thing at the top. I like it here. <laughs> right? Just come in. Just pick something already. Like that. And I'll add the berries to that. To give it some white over here. Yay, Emily said just moved into our new home. Tomorrow I'm setting up my craft room. Ooh, nice. I have no shelves, so I'll be working out of boxes. That's okay. Little yeah. Little time. Exactly. Maybe new berries. But if you want to, you can go back and look at the quick video Kat did on how she puts up the ribbon racks. Do you want to do something like that? Mm, no, on the flowers. <laughs> I do. Yes, I know, right? You're like, just commit. Just put something in there. I like the pine cone though, with the greenery on it. So I'm committing. And yes, I'm just adding this directly right in to my mesh. So I have my little pine cones. We're gonna put lots of glue on the bottoms so that this will adhere really nicely to the deco mesh I already have situated. Those will just go someplace else in a different design. Do the same thing here. Once I get another glue stick. ones that you never want to like go and retrieve from the bags. So lots and lots of glue. And I said love the color of the leaves, give it a nice sparkle. Yeah, I think so I'm gonna move this stuff. I have a couple other little wispy things. So let me remove these. Um, these are from Hobby Lobby. I had one pick left over from our, um, whatchamacallit, Scarecrow. So we're just gonna add these around our pumpkin for some visual interest. Sour gum? Was that what they were called? Sour gum, yeah. So I'm just breaking apart this last pick that I had just to add some fun little. And then we'll add just a couple acorns and a couple really small pine cones just to kind of make everything that we've added around here kind of blend together. <clears throat> Reese said this wreath is gorgeous. Thank you. I'll keep going because I just want to add. I think that's what I want to do with the longer sour gum. Just tie this into the longer pine cone at the top. Thanks as you always pick the perfect embellishments. Right. Oh yes, and congrats Ellie for getting to your new home. Yes, right? Gotta love the fact you moved into a new home and then you'll have your crafting space. I think that's one of the things I look forward to when we move is um, knowing that you know we'll have 
new crafting space. Like I would love to get warehouse size space. The things I would just want to use it for. So I'm just making little trios for, and I'll show you this as I spin it around. So I'm just kind of making the three, even though the, there's no pumpkin at the top, we're adding these to give it some different interest. It's like tying that to this. There we go. Keeping all the natural leaves. Well, I know we're not moving right now, but we were definitely, you know, thinking about it. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Looking, just starting to look. I think it's about time. But I think we're in a holding pattern right now. We're just going to wait. We feel like we're being told to wait right now. Not, but not too long. <laughs> You're funny. Okay. So there's that. We've added that. Let me add a couple iPhones. So Hobby Lobby does smell, or smell, sell really small little pine cones that kind of come in a bag that look like this. Obviously, once you open the bag, you need to put them in some other thing. Uh, Roxanne, that's where you get the pumpkins from. Hobby, Hobby Lobby. Lobby. Yeah. yeah. The white ones came in a really big pick that was utilized in our fall one of our fall wreaths, but it was too big for that design. So we just thought, you know what? We will add it. Um, we'll use it in another design, which is exactly what we're doing tonight. So I was like, oh, these work out perfect with our bigger design. So I'm just adding these to the ends of our Pumpkins, so I'll show you what I did. Let me get all my blue threads. So as I turn this around, I don't know if you guys can see the little baby pumpkin. Pumpkin. Pine cone. So I'm pulling the bigger ones out. Right? Karen said someone thought you were opening a treat for them. <laughs> Somebody did. She's over here like, hey mom, where's the treats? She came back in the kitchen looking for something. Bella. And they're so hard to find just the right ones. You want them big enough, but kind of fluffy enough. And I'm just kind of tucking these in with the leaves that kind of go around the outside. So it's just another way that Customers might not see that initially when they purchase it, but then when they get it home, they're like, oh, look, there's pine cones here. There's acorns there. Trying to move my glue thread. There we go. So I need to add one down here. Trying to find the bigger ones. You don't want to go too big, but then you don't want to go too small either. So just something fun for fall pumpkins, fall leaves. And then um, there was one acorn. Cat's fabricating her own picks again. Amazing. Let me spin this around. Almost done, guys. Yeah, I'm just working on fabricating my own pick again. It's what I do when I can't find what I want. So I'm adding 
some leaves to the center. All right here. I'm going to take my acorn, place this right in with my leaf. I'm trying to get that to dry before I put it up on the door so it doesn't plop out. Thank you, Rita. She said, do all love the private group? I sure do and can't believe how much I'm learning. Thank you, Rita. Okay. Okay, I think we're done. So let me move these to the side. Okay. Let me um, make sure my ribbons are all left on top. So when I go to... Oh, thank you, Sharon. What's up? She said your wreath looks beautiful. Thank you. Okay. Let me put Just trying to get the last pieces, glue threads off, fix all our tails. I think we're good. There we go. Okay. Sorry, Mr. Thurston. Get these off. Take this. Place this. Just like that right there. And there we have, this could actually go fall slightly and um, going into what, like Christmas, like early December. So I have to do all this so that I'm not standing outside in the weather and fluffing the ribbon, which is just too hot to be doing on the porch. But what do you guys think? Ooh. Karen's so beautiful. We are most of love it. Nice. Okay. There we go. Okay. So another fall wreath in the books for today, um, Sunday. We'll work on the square frame because so many of you are asking about the square frames. They're super easy to do, um, easier than you might think. So join me on Sunday at six uh, Pacific and it's eight central, nine Eastern time for mm -hmm. the square fall wreath. We'll do something there. And um, any other last minute questions? That's it. All right. She also said, thank you, Mr. Beautiful Cat. You're amazing. Thank you, gals, for joining us on Friday. Yes, and have a great weekend, too. Hopefully, you guys will stay cool and find something fun to do. All right, everyone. We'll have a great weekend. Bye. Thanks for joining me.